Hey Riverwood, you know, in my last video greeting to you, I told the story of Shimei and um, he had followed along with David and came out cursing at him and, uh, and throwing rocks at him and dust. And, and he was doing that all in the presence of David's protectors, the mighty men that he had around him. And, and David did well to ignore him because you don't know what is going to come of it. And, uh, and, and in fact, if you fast forward a little bit into this story, you learn that Shimei had a change of heart. And here's what it says in 2 Samuel chapter 19. When Shimei, son of Gera, crossed the Jordan, he fell, he fell prostrate before the king and said to him, May my Lord not hold me guilty. Do not remember how your servant did wrong on the day my Lord the king left Jerusalem. May the king put it out of his mind. For I, your servant, know that I have sinned, but today I have come here as the first from the tribes of Joseph to come down and meet my lord, the king. Shimei had a change of heart. He realized that all of that posturing and cursing and, and anger that he had was, was not good. It wasn't right. It was sin. And he sought to get forgiveness from, from David. And that possibility exists too for those in your life that um, that have angered you or that you have angered. And there's that possibility for grace and redemption to always be there. So my encouragement to you is even in the midst of the attacks that you may be receiving, know that at some point down the road, there might be an opportunity for restoration. Keep grace abounding, as the Bible says, where sin abounds, grace superabounds. You know, this is one of the topics that we'll talk about in the coming weeks ahead is how we interact with one another because I'm starting the new Body Life Sermon Series this coming Sunday. And we're going to look at five of the one another's in the Bible and how we interact with, with each other. And we're going to start with the first one this Sunday. So I hope you can join us for that and I look forward to seeing you then.